Welcome back guys to this amazing episode of Christianity over Islam with Sam Shaman. Well, and on this video, we will be doing a compilation of best Sam Shaman's debates of 2023. Sit back and enjoy these videos. Okay, but in verse, in verse, uh, um, what you see the butt because I'm gonna bury you with the butt, but what? Uh, in, in verse 14, it says the gospel is gonna be preached all across the world, the whole world. Okay, now you want me to embarrass you because according to the same New Testament, Romans 1 8, Romans 10 18, Colossians 1 6, Colossians 1 23, it says the gospel is already preached the whole world before 70 AD. Burial, and we cremate it, and we now spread your ashes against the black stone. Yeah, so what's your question? The okay. contradictions that are found within the Bible in John 15 1. Okay, so when, what are you before I bury you and your contradictions? What are you? Sure. Okay, so you just said Muhammad is a bastard because he confirmed the Bible. So do you agree he's a bastard? I never said that in my No, life. I didn't say you said. I'm saying Muhammad said it in the Quran, your toilet paper called the Quran. Didn't confirm the Bible. Chapter 2, confirm verses 40 to 44. Stop barking before I muzzle you. Chapter 2, verses 40 to 44. Your fake prophet said, My Bible is sure that I'm going to bury you in the contradiction of the Quran, and I'll make you lick the black stone for repentance. Open up chapter 2, verses 40 to 44. Do you want to open up what no, I No, you want to read it? I don't I don't want to read your toilet paper. Can you read it? Because you use it when you go to the bathroom. Go to chapter 2, verses 40 to 44. Read it for me. All right, bro. Have a good night, man. I'm out Yeah, okay. Bye, bye. Get to the point, buddy. Don't be half, man. No, I don't want to be a pedophile like your prophet who licked the black stone. Insult my... Shut up, stone licker. Let the guy defend his religion. Yes, Ibn Muta. No, he doesn't say in Genesis 24 she was three. He didn't do that. Here, I have Rashi right here. For when Abraham came from Mount Moriah, he was informed that Rebekah had been born. You see? Yeah, Bint Muta, you didn't read all of it, but Isaac was then. Let me read it. Okay, I'm going to bury you now. Isaac was then 37 years old. For at that time, Sarah died. And from that time, Isaac was born until the binding of Isaac when Sarah died for the 37 years. For she was 90 years old. Don't manifest like your prophet did started foaming. Hold on. Okay, Isaac was born and 127 when she died, as is stated. The life of Sarah was 127 years. This makes Isaac 37 years old. And at that time, Rebecca was born. Now, let's read it. Let's see what you didn't read. He waited for her until she'd be fit for marital relations. Three years and then married her. He didn't say she was three years old. You see, she misquoted it because if she read it, she's saying that Isaac was 37 and he waited three years when he was 40 to marry her. She just misquoted it because when he was 37, she still was not not fit for marriage he had to wait three years when he was 40 then she'd be fit it didn't say she was three you butchered in front of me so where does god say i god my divine essence does not change or does he say i the lord do not change and, and that's malachi 3 6 right what's the context yeah. of malachi 3 6 yeah, said, where, okay where what's says, the context of malachi 3 6 don't quote verses you don't know what does he mean he doesn't change it means that he doesn't change his purpose is that's why he won't consume israel don't misquote scripture but the same malachi can i answer you the same malachi 3 6 if you didn't butcher it out of context if you read verse 1 that same god who says i the lord do not change he says that the Lord God will be appearing to the temple after he sends a messenger to prepare for him. Malachi 3.1. Does God enter temples? Yes, he does. Because even your God descends to the Lord. Can I answer your question? Because you're misquoting Stephen and you're misquoting Solomon. I'll even make it better for you. Go to 1 Kings chapter 8, verses 10 to 13, where Solomon says that shall God really dwell in this house, the heaven and the heavens of heavens cannot contain thee. But then if you go on, 1 Kings 8, 12, 13, the same Solomon that Stephen is parroting, it says that God appeared in a pillar of cloud. And then God says, this is my place where I will dwell and my name will be here, you Bible butcher. But I saw, I saw the debate that you guys had on TikTok and I was like, I joined kind of late, so I was just like, well, who is this guy, like Sam? And I looked you up on YouTube and I watched one video, the video that you had with Matt. And I was like, I want to watch more. And I watched more and I, I found a lot of verses that you brought up in the Quran. You're very well versed and you're very knowledgeable, which is rare for, I find, people who are debating to be knowledgeable in the Quran and in the Bible. Yeah. And you made me think a lot. So here's what I need you to say. Now, no pressure. You got to mean it from your heart. No, I mean it. Okay, here's what you're going to say. Mm -hmm. I renounce Islam. I renounce Islam. I do not believe Muhammad is a messenger. I do not be believe Muhammad is a messenger. Nor all of the Quran is God. Nor Allah of the Quran is God. I believe with all my heart. I believe with all my heart. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. The Son of God. The Son of God. Who loves me. Who loves me. And gave himself for me and gave himself for me and i believe jesus died and rose again 
And I believe that Jesus died and rose again. And he's alive in his physical body. And he's alive in his physical body. And he'll return in his physical body. And he will return in his physical body. To judge the living and the dead. To judge the living and the dead. And my hope is in Jesus. And my hope is in Jesus. My trust is in Jesus. My trust is in Jesus. And I love him and worship him as my Lord. And I love him and worship him as my Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, personally, I believe that Christians lack accountability because they say Jesus died for all of our sins, so we're forgiven and all we have to do is ask for forgiveness. But in Islam, it is different. So I believe that. What, what do you think about that? I think you have no idea what you're talking about because uh, for a Christian to say that means he doesn't know Christianity. No, no I'm, not, I'm not a Christian. But oh, then what are you? I'm Muslim. Oh, so you're saying that Christians say Jesus died for us, there's no accountability, but you're not a very knowledgeable Muslim because according to your prophet in the sounds narration, if you die saying there's no God but Allah, you will enter paradise, even if you commit zina and theft. So it seems like it's your prophet that says there's no accountability. Just say the shahada, don't worry about it, because at the day of judgment, Muhammad intercede and take you out of hellfire, and then the Jews and Christians will be sent in your place to be tortured. So now you just buried Muhammad, so why are you a Muslim? Making false parallels. Uh, actually, it is a sound parallel. If you're not that intelligent to get it, let me repeat it again. When your prophet says, if someone says there is no God but Allah, he will enter Jannah. And then when his companion says, even if he's committed zinna and theft, yes. So your prophet's lying? No, but, but in Islam, we're, we're told to commit, uh, to do good deeds. Oh, you mean, so the same New Testament that says, if Jesus died for you, he died to ransom you so you don't sin, but be zealous for good deeds, and you should not sin because the Lord will rebuke you. Let's forget those passages, you Bible pervert. Well, well there's, there's no need for name calling. No, there is plenty of need for name calling because I'm stooping to the level of your prophet. Don't play high and mighty because if I quote your prophet insulting people, you're going to join me in spitting on him. So don't play high and mighty and holier than thou when you follow a hypocrite who insulted people and murdered them and had their women raped. Don't play the moral high ground with me. And why is it Islam, the only major world religion that I know that guarantees you'll go to hell? What do you mean by that? In chapter 19, verses 71 to 72, it says Allah has fixed a decree. Everyone goes down to hell and only the God-fearing come out. Why is that? Is that talking about the... Um... The bridge of Sirat. No, there's no bridge Sirat in the Quran that you're reading later Islamic tradition back into the text. The text says, there is not one of you who shall not enter into it, a decree fixed by your Lord, and only the God-fearing will come out and it will leave the evil doors hobbling in it. Here it is. Not one of you there is, but he shall go down to it. That for thy Lord is a thing decreed determined. And then 72 shows only the God-fearing will come out. Mm -hmm. Why is it your book says you're guaranteed you're going to go to hell, but you're not guaranteed you're going to come out lest you're God-fearing enough? Um, I'm not sure. Can you read 1971-72 for him in context so you can see I'm not misquoting? Not one of you there is, but he shall go down to it. That for your Lord is a thing decreed, determined. Then we shall deliver those that were God-fearing, and evildoers we shall leave there, hobbling on their knees. So you catch it, the God-fearing and the evildoers will be in hell, but the God-fearing will come out, but the evildoers will remain hobbling there. So what kind of religion is this that causes me psychological trauma, where it guarantees I'm gonna go to hell, but I don't know if I'm God-fearing that I'll be taken out. And you yeah. want me to bend in Jesus' promises for this? So no, that's why you don't believe the Quran is created, right? The Quran is not created. All right, guys, so before we continue with this beautiful video, uh, this is a compilation of the 2023s and some shamans debate. They are the best to compile them for your own uh, satisfaction. I think 2023 was a fulfilled year. So many Muslims denounced Islam and they came to Christianity to the true knowledge of the truth. They became Christian through Sam Shaman and it was an amazing, amazing moment. And some were embarrassed, some is good, so many of them and we learned a lot in 2023. So I, this is the compilation. Just enjoy this video. Say it again, I want your Christian friend to hear your, that you're a pagan. So Quran is not created? Yeah, Quran is not a created being. Okay, it's is the Quran Allah? No. Okay, now, Carl, did you hear what he just said? I want you to see why your friend is a pagan. Did you hear what he just said? Carl? Mm, yes. yes. He just told you Quran is not created, Quran is not Allah. Now, Carl, I'm not too smart in math. Quran is not Allah, right? Carl, he just said it. Yes. And yet the Quran is uncreated, meaning it's not created, right, Carl? Yes. And Allah is not created. 
Yes. So now one plus one is what? Two. So he just taught you that there are two gods in his religion. Good job. You're a pagan. Is Allah your father? Yes or no? The word father is a creation. Allah uh, Allah is the creator. Where does the Quran say the word father is a creation? Show that to me. No, I'm using it just, this is what I'm telling you. Like, that's what I'm saying. But you're not the God. Word father, all fathers, God. every father that ever exists is a creation. Okay. You're every not God. Every father ever exists is a creation. You're not God. You're not a prophet. You don't have wahi. I could care less for your opinion. Show me in the Quran where it says the term father is creation. According to science, every father is a creation. No, because if God is the original father, then he's uncreated. So much for your science. And secondly, the word Allah, is it Arabic? Yes. So now, according to science, is Arabic eternal uncreated or a created language? Ask the question one more time. According to the science you appeal to, is Arabic an uncreated eternal language or a language that's created? It's a language that is created. So Allah's created. Thank you. According to your logic, you just buried Allah. Non Islam, Islam has the most beautiful rights for women. Like beating you up? Chapter 4, verse 34. That's beautiful. Narrated Abu Huraira. This Abu Huraira is classic. The Prophet said the people of Bani Israel used to take bath naked all together, looking at each other. The Prophet Moses used to take bath alone. So he used to go take a bath alone by himself. Now watch. They said, Wallahi, by Allah, nothing prevents Moses from taking a bath with us except that he has scrotal hernia. So they were making fun of him. He's embarrassed to take bath with us because he has a physical defect. Okay, now watch. This one I need you to help me understand. So once Moses went out to take a bath and put his clothes over a stone. Pay attention now, Yasmin. Over a stone. And then that stone ran away with his clothes. Wow. The stone ran and stole the clothes of Moses. Then what did Moses do? Moses followed that stone. He chased after that stone saying, my, my clothes are stolen. <laughs> I'm sorry. My clothes are stolen. My clothes are stolen. <laughs> wait, 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 let me finish it. That the people of Bani Israel saw him and said, Wallahi, Moses has no defect in his body. Moses took the clothes, his clothes, and began to beat the stone. Ya kafir, ya munafik. Abu Huraira added, By Allah, there are still six or seven marks present on the stone from that excessive being. If you were living at the time, Muhammad, be honest with me. I don't want you to lie. Fear God, because you believe you're going to stand before him. And Muhammad's companions came. Or Muhammad came, your mother's a widow, or your sister's not married, or your grandmother is not married, and they say, We're going to do muta. I'm gonna marry your mother for three days and then divorce her and pay her. What do you call that? What do you call that? That's prostitution. You just called your prophet a prostitute because he allowed Zawaj al Muta. Don't lie. Don't look, try to tap them. Look, 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 look. So I did hear this in the Shi'i religion, but in the Sunni religion. No, it's in the Sunnah. Your prophet in Bukhari and Muslim. I'm going to give you the hadiths based on Surah Al Maida 587. He allowed muta, then abrogated it. So I'm not saying you do it till this day. I'm saying at the time your prophet, when you as a Sunni believe he allowed it, then he canceled it later. So I'm not saying you do it today. That's why I asked you. If you're living at the time of your prophet and he had made it halal, acceptable, what do you call your prophet and his companion saying, go find a woman, marry her for three days, two days, doesn't matter, pay her and divorce her. You just called it prostitution. So you just called your prophet a prostitute. You mean a pimp? Okay, let's be nice. A pimp. Okay, so you're okay with him being a pimp? No, because he's not a pimp. Oh, so you mean when they do that to someone's mother or sister, they're not treating her as a whore? Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, I want to ask you something. Do you follow the sunnah that when you eat food, that either you have to lick your fingers or have your friend lick your fingers? That's a sunnah. Okay, so now if we go to a buffet, you and I, we sit in a buffet. I'm a Muslim, you're a Muslim. We finish eating halal food and I say, my brother, I want you to receive the barakah. Lick my fingers. Would you do what Muhammad did? Because that's what he did. Would you lick my fingers for the sake of Allah and his messenger? For the sake of Allah, yes. So you would do that? 
Okay, he sent me a link and uh, it says in there uh, in that link that uh, Islam says to promote you know uh, beating women and everything. Yes, that's so in Surah Tanisa. Open it up. Okay, do you have your Quran? It says in Quran to beat them only only if you know they welcome other men. So they're you're not married. So well, well, slow down, slow down. Married, young lady, slow down. You're speaking too fast. Mm-hmm. So you're saying you mm-hmm. can only beat them if you feel rebellion. So you're admitting a woman can be beat, right? not it, it it also says it all it also explains in hadith that there is a word written next to it which means lightly no it doesn't i've studied your deen and i've studied your hadiths sad bukhari says that a woman was mm-hmm. beaten so bad she had a green mark on her body asbab al nuzu that means the reason why the ayah was sent down asbab al nuzu means the mm-hmm. reason why it's sent down nuzu mm-hmm. right sayyid muqattal this verse men are in charge of women was revealed about sad Ibn al-Rabbi, who was one of the leaders of the helpers, Nuqaba, and his wife Habiba bin Zayed ibn Abi Zuhair, both of whom from the helpers Ansari. It happened, Saad hit his wife on the face because she rebelled against them. Saad hit his wife on the face. Then her father went with her to see the Prophet. He said to him, I give him my daughter in marriage, and he slapped her. The Prophet now pay attention said let her have retaliation against her husband as she was leaving with her father to execute retaliation the prophet called him and said come back gabriel jibril has come to me and allah exalted as he revealed this ayah this verse right the messenger allah said we wanted something while allah wanted something else and that which allah wants is good retaliation was then sus- suspended did you understand what i just read mm-hmm. okay now let me see if you did when the woman got slapped in the face, the man, the husband slapped her in the face. It wasn't lightly. The father went to Muhammad, your prophet, and he goes, okay, get the retaliation. But then the ayah came saying, no, the man has every right to slap his wife. So where did you get lightly from this? Narrated Iqrimah, Rifah, divorced his wife. So Rifah divorced his wife. Whereupon Abdurrahman bin Az-Zubayr al-Qurazi married her. Aisha said that the lady came wearing a green veil and complained to her of her husband and showed her a green spot of her skin caused by beating. He hit her so hard he left a bruise. And you'll read it later. You'll see I didn't make it up. It was the habit of ladies to support each other. So when Allah's messenger came, now pay attention to this. This is Aisha, right? Then I'm going to ask you something about Aisha. When Allah's messenger came, Aisha said, I have not seen any woman suffering as much as the believing woman. Look, her skin is greener than her clothes. And look what she said. I have not seen any woman suffering as much as the believing woman. In other words, the Muslim woman, they suffered more than unbelieving women. That's Aisha, not me. Now watch her. When Abdurrahman, Abdurrahman heard that his wife had gone to the Prophet, he came with his two sons from another wife. She said, by Allah, I have done no wrong to him. But he is impotent. Impotent means he can't be intimate with her in bed. And is as useless to me as this, holding and showing the fringe of her garment. Abdurrahman said, Wallahi, by Allah, oh Allah's messenger, she has told a lie. I am very strong and can satisfy her, but she is disobedient. That's what the ayah says, if you fear rebellion. And wants to go back to Rifah. She wants to go to her first husband. Allah's messenger said to her, if that is your intention, then know that it is unlawful for you to remarry Rifa, unless Abdurrahman has had sexual intercourse with you. Then the Prophet saw two boys with Abdurrahman and asked, Are these your sons? On that, Abdurrahman said, Yes. The Prophet said, and He's talking to the wife, You claim what you claim, i.e., that he's impotent? Wallahi, but by Allah, these boys resemble him as a crow resembles a crow. Did you see your Prophet said nothing to the man about beating her so hard that he left a bruise on her body? Well, if I'm not a Muslim, then I probably wouldn't be okay with it. You, know, you, you, know, wait, so you mean if you were a Muslim and a Muslim came and raped your mother, you'd be okay with it then? Well, I'm following the ways of the Prophet, right? But listen, this is this is what I came to ask you, sir. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, get out of here. So I want to ask you this. Be honest with me. If you had a nine-year-old daughter, would you be okay with a 54-year-old man marrying her and having sex with her? Probably, uh, probably not. Probably? I got a... 13 year old and a soon to be 11 year old. I swear to you, I'll be in jail if a 54 year old touched either one of them. I'll be in jail or I'll be killed. How can you follow this 54 year old pervert 
who married a nine-year-old minor playing with dolls, and it's in all the authentic sources. Don't let them lie to you because they're embarrassed and they try to explain it away. You're going to follow a man who was 54 years old, who took a nine-year-old and slept with her and left her as an orphan at 18. And this is your example over against Jesus? You're kidding me, right? Welcome back, guys. Yeah, I believe you were able to learn something from these amazing videos. This, we are the comp these are the comp compilation of uh, Sam Chamon's uh, 2023 uh, debate. And there were so many things to learn from the, from Sam Chamon. There were so many things. This man is very fast, he's knowledgeable. Imagine to it studying for 20 something years. You know, he's very fast both in Bible and in Quran and all that. Uh, for that doctrinally uh, exercises and he's very bright and then one of the major things to note is that he's not just um, bringing truth to the people there were so many muslims that le left islam they denounced islam and became christian on account of, of this kind of debate and so it is very important and it is a serious matter on how san shaman take this as a ministry and um, he is a very very knowledgeable man that is what thing i know about san shaman there are so so many things to learn from the last year's debate and i believe you were able to learn something too from this amazing video let us know what you've learned in the comment section and also don't forget to share to like and also subscribe to the channel for more videos thank you